Every New Mexican deserves a safe, comfortable and affordable place to call home. That's a partial statement from New Mexico's governor as she announced the appointment of a new housing and homeless advisor. Brianna Wilson introduces us to the woman filling this crucial role for our state. When we don't have affordable housing, that leads to families experiencing homelessness. And so um, we know that there needs to be a complete spectrum of response. One that Amy Whitfield says she intends to deliver is the new housing and homeless advisor for the governor's office. We need to increase affordable housing throughout the state. We need to increase development of, of new housing and, and housing options. And, and then we also need to target um, homelessness prevention and response to homelessness. Whitfield, who has been serving in the governor's administration since 2019, working closely with CYFD and the Office of African American Affairs, says these issues are not exclusive to the metro. Throughout the whole entire state of New Mexico, we're seeing it nationally. We know that um, the increase of the fair market rate for housing is really impacting all New Mexicans. She also says homelessness goes beyond what you see on the streets. Sometimes um, it looks like I can't afford my rent now, so I need to go ask for programs and services. Um, sometimes it means I'm paying 40% or 50% of my income to housing um, and can't afford other things. Sometimes it means that I'm living in a multi-generational house, not by choice, but out of need. That's why one of Whitfield's first plans of action is to help the Department of Finance Administration give out $20 million in federal grants to New Mexicans who need it most. I've already been able to go and meet with um, several of the applicants and, and hear from um, our local governments and, and nonprofits what they need to do to increase their service. The governor's office says grant awardees will be announced in the next few weeks and looking ahead to January. Our priority right now is the legislative session. Um, we are working with nonprofits. We're working with private um, agencies. We're working with state programs and really being able to hear from all of them what should be policy priorities. Brianna Wilson, KOB4.